we've known each other for you know quite a few years and it's been fantastic to watch you go from strength to strength i know that it's meant you've had to step outside your comfort zone um especially with like english not being your first language and you just grab the bull by the horns each time how do you mentally prepare yourself for a new challenge and just go and put yourself out there because you do every single time yeah hi and every single time i think what i'm doing <laughs> what the hell i'm doing but you know i, I always been the, the kind of person that would think i better try and fail than just say oh what if i had what if i you know i hate that i really hate that like since i since since i was a child i don't know so this is already of course helped me to to at least try the opportunities that come my way. I was actually talking to Rodrigo, our CEO here, uh, yesterday because of the award and the, you know, the International Hospitality Institute, they create a cover magazine with your picture with the winners and I, I, I was one of them. So I have this cover and then I found uh, that it's, uh, it's sweet and it's, it's, I don't know, it's surreal. And then I found that like tw in January, 2020, uh, it's my birthday, January, Rodrigo made uh, for fun because of, you know, I do a lot of things like gifts and stuff. So he made for me one that was a fake cover of hospitality. And that was my <laughs> face. And then I got to publish that on LinkedIn eventually. And then he put my face there and it was like, you know, just making fun. Are you going to be the next whatever hospitality influencer, whatever. And now I have this cover for real. So I was telling him like, like this is just crazy. Because when, again, I didn't have any experience in marketing when I came to Ask Suite, when I started working here. And to be, to, to, to make it even harder, uh, the first day when I said, okay, Paula, so you're going to go to marketing because I wasn't sales. And I was, oh, yes. And then I, oh, we're going to be international. So you're going to be everything in English and everything. What? <laughs> And it took like a whole month to write one post because I was in a blog post because I was so scared of the judgment and I knew it would have mistakes and and then yeah don't get me wrong it's not because it, it feels like people will sometimes think oh you I do a few webinars and stuff like that every single time I'm nervous every single blog post that I post I'm because you, you are exposing yourself you know it is you you you're vulnerable a lot you like you like people see everything and, and you know and judge you and uh, that's part of that's part of the i don't know I, I would say the job but it's actually it's part of today's life because of social media and all that even if you don't work in marketing you, you, if you're writing something on social media you're open to for critique or whatever it is so and nice feedbacks as well it's not a, not all bad but anyway, uh, so how do I prepare? I don't know. I just, I just think that. But what if it works? You know <laughs> how? And then I just try. And what? And I always think like, what is the worst thing that can happen? Okay, maybe I'm gonna become a meme. And because when we start, I remember starting the podcast was like the worst. But <laughs> it was like I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. And then I was like, okay, Paula. So what is the worst? Oh well. I think no one will watch it, <laughs> the number one. If, they, if it's completely like bad, they're going to make memes, or what, but I'm not offending anyone. And, and So, okay, no one's going to die, you know? So, yeah, let's try it. And, and that's basically what I still do. So, you know, I just like, I just have in my mind that it's, I'm doing my best. You know, I have this self-conscious that I, I'm preparing for things. I'm doing my best, but my best is not going to be perfect. So I... Even though all the time I think, oh, I could have done better. I could have done better. I always trying to improve, but I, I, I try to be also okay, if that makes sense, of not being perfect because it, it won't be. So yeah. I, I, I just relate know. to that. I relate to that so much because I'm dyslexic. So the thought of me oh. putting posts out on social media terrify the living wow. hell out of me. <laughs> so. Wow. So I, I oh, that's amazing, Naomi. Congrats to you too, really. Thanks, man. So I know that fear. I know that obviously, you know, I only post in English, um, and I've got amazing no, to help me. But um, you know, it's it is. You've, you've just got to go for it. Try new things. That's what sets 
yourself and our suite out there you know one persona yeah. will relate to one different type of person and another yeah. person will relate to another so be that fun person mm-hmm. be that corporate suit be whatever you need to be and mix up those posts and have fun so if one person doesn't mm-hmm. like it 10 others will it doesn't really matter and um, yeah. just go for it in my opinion yeah and then like you said now uh, yeah it's, it's simple but yet so true even though I'm nervous, I stress out sometimes, you know, like, oh my God, what I'm doing. I always have fun, like seriously, you know, <laughs> any, every webinar. I, and I think that's one of the things that it come across because people tell me that a lot. And yeah, like here, like today, like in the, if you're watching this, uh, I was completely nervous, especially I was telling my Emmy when you are doing the questions, you're making the question, it's I think you're more in control. <laughs> and he was <laughs> well, I get nervous have a too- I get nervous doing the questions, so I'm not sure how true that is. I think you're just used to being um, doing the questions and you kind of fit into that comfort zone. Um, but, you know, you've created so much content with so many experts that you're now a hospitality industry thought leader in your own right. Did you, re- is that where you thought you were going to end up? Is that where you pushed yourself to be? To be very honest, and then hopefully no one will take this out of context and I'm going to become a meme that I was saying. But anyway, uh, to be very honest, when uh, when Rodrigo told me, are you going into marketing and you're going to do this and that, I, I told him and, I'm, and now I feel comfortable sharing this because before I would not do that. But I, I told him, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it and I'm going to be the best that I, I actually said this word, I'm going to be the best that I can and I, I, I'm going to make it work. From the day one, I was very obsessed with that because I thought it was just a, such a huge challenge. And I don't know. So yes, uh, it, it was and working with, and then I, then I started thinking, okay, how am I going to get there? No one knows me. Uh, as it was just, you know, starting as well. And to be the best in this, what I'm doing, I have to create the best content. Uh, I do know something about hotels since I was a hotelier that, that was something that helped me then I actually plan and yeah I did I never okay I'm gonna start working collaborating with people they know much more than me and then that way I can learn and the audience can learn so it was a very conscious uh, strategy to be to be honest and like I said before people are much nicer than you think and and I have I'm being lucky because everyone uh, it's kind everyone everyone is kind to me and and yeah, so once you start doing one and then, you know, it, 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 it makes the wheel spin. So yeah, then it just happens more and more. But yeah, it was a conscious uh, decision of working with experts because it would bring the audience value, the content itself. And I would also uh, learn how to do it. So yeah, so that's why uh, hey. it... I didn't know it would be like today you'd be like in the cover of a, of a magazine <laughs> in the cover of a magazine I think, yeah. I think it's I fabulous 